All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So this is the second video for Azure ATP config deployed and configuration. Let's go to uh, Admin Center and then click on Azure ATP. Here it goes. Let's go to configuration. So the first thing we want to do is um, configure the sensor. As you can see here, I have one domain controller installed. And if you have multiple domain controller that you have uh, sensor installed, you should see it listed here. Let's click on that. You have to enable one of the um, the domain controller for domain synchronization candidate. So you can enable all the domain controller as a synchronizer, but it's not required. I'm gonna turn this one on, click save. So that has been enabled. Now let's go to updates. You can turn off the automatically restart after the update has been applied. I'm going to turn it off. I don't want it to force my domain controller to be installed or to be restarted. So just leave it off. You can configure here. Once you enable that, it's automatically restart. So click, click save. Directory services. This is your service account credential that are um, that you're using to connect to your on-prem domain controller. Let's go next. Windows ATP. You can integrate Azure ATP with Windows ATP or Windows Dependent ATP. Currently, I'm having issues with my Windows Defender ATP, so I'm not able to enable that. I'm going to skip that one. Let's go to the next section. Entities. So there's two entities. One is the Honey Token accounts. Let's look at, uh, for the Honey Token account, You, uh, it's a you want to create an account or add an account that that it's not being used by anyone else. Um, never log on before, never log on. Just another word is just never use to log on to anything. It's like a beta account. So if you if you see if Azure ATP see this account logging in, that means it's gonna verify. It's gonna um, it's going to see that someone's snooping in in your environment. So let's create a John Doe. Um, let's choose my test account. Click on add. You can add multiple accounts. The sensitive account is for um, like people who has privileges like domain controller the administrator, um, the president of the company, that will automatically configure that. And you can add the groups or you can manually add the accounts. I'm going to click Save. Go Next, Exclusion. If you want to exclude anything, just say, um, you know, any false positive um, information, you can just add it to um, network mapping uh, recon reconnaissance DNS. You can automate it at this. The way to automate this, you can use the reporting, like anything that is false positive, and you can automatically add it. Um, to the uh, exclusions. All right, let's go to the next section.
So you want to turn on the notifications here. Enter the email address of the administrator. Add this one as well. You can also configure syslog's um, notification. All right, next one is the schedule reports. So there's uh, some configuration here. You can uh, configure summary schedule. You can set it to daily and enter the email address. You can also configure modification sensitive groups. Password expose lateral movement. You can configure this as well. Click save. So that is done. Let's go ahead and click on the workspace. Currently, I don't have any alerts. Let's go to get close. What's medium sensor stop communicating that has been communicated from 17 for 17 minute last minute was all right i think they were because i might reboot the server so i'm going to pause the video to see if anything comes up as high alert and um, continue with the recording I don't have um, any high alerts, so I'm just going to open this one. I'll reopen the case. Reopen. Let's see. So I'm going to add this one to exclusions. I'm going to add this one to exclusion automatically. I'm going to suppress. Actually, no. It has to be a high alert in order for me to add it to exclusions list or exclusions item. All right. Um, well, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm probably going to do a next video on the exclusions list. Thank you very much and don't forget to, to sub, sub, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a good day.